Derek, congratulations on the win tonight. You had quite the performance from the three-point line. To start off the game, when you knocked those first couple down, did you feel like you were going to be on for the rest of the game? Um, yeah, I just uh, I had the gut feeling that uh, you know, I didn't have the greatest game yesterday, and I wanted to bounce back. And um, you know, my teammates gave me the okay to you know, be a tad more aggressive than I usually am. And uh, after the first one went in, I kind of, uh, you know, I had a great feeling about it. It was coming off my hand really clean. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, not looking back from that. You, you beat the buzzer at one point of the shot clock. You've got to be talking to yourself in your head. What are you saying to yourself? Um, I don't know. I just, I kind of, like, try to model my game at the, you know, Damian Lillard. He does, you know, these, these, this specific move off a of ball screen that kind of, you know, I try to emulate. So I uh, kind of said to myself, just, you know, just shoot it like Dame pretty much. Now, the past two seasons, you guys have lost to SMU by double digits. Mm -hmm. Was this something that you thought about before the game, maybe give you that extra chip on your shoulder? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, we hate for guys to have our number, and they definitely had our number, and uh, it was by a wide margin. So, uh, you know, personally, we took it as a you know personal battle, and we wanted to come out here and execute and, uh, you know, win the game and, you know, make sure, you know, SMU, you know, um, you know had a feel of what Michigan basketball looks like. Now, what were some of the things that you guys did on defense to stop SMU's offense? You know, with a big guy like Shemi, how do you guys stop their offense? I mean, they, uh, it's obvious that they, uh, you know, have some NBA personnel on their, you know, sideline because they really don't run plays. They play matchups. So uh, it was all about just trying to, you know, to pick up some tendencies and, uh, you know, group lead, you know, stop them as a team opposed to, you know, letting guys play one-on-one. -on -one. So, uh, like you said, Shemi's a great player. And, um, you know, we did as much as possible to try to slow him down. And, uh, you know, it was kind of all the difference for us on that end. Now, you guys obviously winning a championship of a tournament. What does this mean for the rest of the season? How are you guys feeling? Does it give you that extra confidence? We're confident bunch already, but uh, of course that kind of gives you that extra notch to, you know, actually have a confidence something and want a, you know, a marquee game on a, you know, great stage like Madison Square. So, um, you know, going forward, I'm, you know, telling my guys not to look back and, um, you know, we're just going to keep the ball rolling from here. We think we can do something special. Being a senior, you know, this could be your last time playing at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Hopefully not, maybe, you know. <laughs> at some point in your career in the next step. But what's that feeling like, you know, have the performance that you did tonight, win the championship of a tournament, and get all tournament team? How, how does that feel for you? Us, uh, you know, some moments that you just can't, you know, replicate, you know. Um, you know, just one of the greatest venues in basketball history. Um, and I'm, you know, excited to, you know, be able to put the performance on that I did. And, uh, you know, hopefully going forward, it's definitely not going to be my last time playing on Madison Square. <laughs> What are you saying to some of the younger guys um, about playing in venues like this or just being part of a, a team like this or part of the moment? Uh, just, you know, you've been playing basketball. I tell them you've been playing basketball for a long time. And, uh, you know, at some point you played against a sold-out crowd, just, you know, probably ten times five or times ten. So, uh, you know, just try to be, tell them to be more confident, uh, you know, be as comfortable as possible. And, uh, you know, it's basketball at the end of the day. You know, once your ball get the bounce and then, uh, you know, the red blow a whistle. So you just kind of get back into the groove. It's just another game. All right, well, thank you, and congratulations again, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.